We're back at 740. It's been nearly five years since the untimely death of Michael Jackson. But today, an album of new music from the King of Pop is out. It's called Escape. His songs and dance moves are classic. And with Michael Jackson's one billion records sold worldwide, it's that timelessness that record producers are banking on with today's release of Escape. Eight new Michael Jackson tracks featuring vocals mined from the vast archive of songs that Jackson recorded but never released. Behind the album, Epic Records CEO L.A. Reid and his team of producers, led by rapper Timbaland, who took Jackson's old vocal solos and put new contemporary music underneath. These were tracks that had been recorded between 1983 and 1999. What they did was listen to Michael Jackson's vocals and let those vocals tell them what to do. For Billboard magazine's latest cover story, editor Joe Levy interviewed the producers about the daunting task of resurrecting a legend. I didn't want us to put out music that Michael didn't want the world to hear. The album's first single is the upbeat throwback Love Never Felt So Good. Originally recorded in 1983 and finally debuted more than 30 years later with a little help from Usher at this month's iHeartRadio Music Awards. There are a lot of really good songs on this record. Fascinating songs. There's a remake of A Horse With No Name. Michael does it as a, a song called A Place With No Name. I turn this up, dude. Another track channels Jackson's romantic side called Loving You. Michael Jackson tapped us on the shoulder and said, would you just do me one small favor and remind people that I'm the greatest? All right, L.A. Reid joins us now. L.A., good morning. Nice to see Matt, you. how you feeling? I'm fine. I want to know what I'm dealing with here. Favorite Michael okay. Jackson song of all time, Way You Make Me Feel? Uh, Billy Jean, me Human too. Nature. Oh, you went with Human Nature? I'm yeah. going Billy Jean. All right, now I know who I'm dealing with, okay. all right? Let's just remind people what this album is not. This is not music that he recorded and released on various no. albums. It's not a compilation. No, no, this music has never been released. Some of it had been leaked through the years. But what we did was, I mean, just leaked after Michael passed away, his untimely death. Uh, people who produced the songs or whatever kind of leaked them out. Um, but it wasn't widespread. All had kept in a vault. You had hundreds of songs and recordings to choose from. Why would you come up with these eight? After listening to them, I just listened to the songs that Michael sang completely from top to bottom, you know, multiple times. That was my guide. And the ones that I thought had great melodies that would still stand up today. And, and just talk about the process of bringing them up to date for, 2000, for an audience in 2014. Right. So what I did is I basically went to Timbaland, mm -hmm. who was the lead producer, and Rodney Jerkins in Stargate. Uh, and John McClain, who's the executor of the estate. And everybody took a few songs and, uh, and they worked on them. Timbaland did maybe five. Right. And the other producers did one each. You, you have two bits of pressure here. On the one hand, you have to have an, an audience in this year appreciate this music and the way right. it sounds. On the other hand, you know the legacy of Michael Jackson as an artist. He was a perfectionist. Right. He would record and record and record vocals over and over again until yeah. he was happy. So you had to make sure this is something he would like to hear. Well, that was the guy. If he recorded it over and over, then I knew that he loved it because I worked with Michael and I knew that he wouldn't record it over and over unless he really loved you it. You say you work with him. One yeah. of the songs on this, Slave to the Rhythm, you actually worked with him on yeah. in the late like 1991 yeah. like, or something like that and kept it in my studio for many, many years and uh, pulled it out, asked Timberland to update it, and, and now we have it. Talk to me a little bit about this, this brilliant artist and deeply flawed human being. Even today, there's yeah. a new accusation, a guy coming forward claiming sexual abuse. Oh How well God. did you know him? I and, knew and Michael pretty well. Uh, I think if I called him a friend, I would be going a little bit too far. I spent a lot of time with him, though, and I got to know him as an artist, and I understood his principles and his values, you know. And Michael was a man of love. He was completely about love and completely harmless, right? Very dedicated to himself, very dedicated to music and being great and really doing something great for the world. How so. much more is there in this arrangement between well, the estate and you? There's more music, but I think I picked what I really, really loved. So for me, this is it. Done. Yeah, I don't think I could do any more. It's been a lot of work, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, it's a and, lot of work. And favorite song on this album? Uh, I think for me, it's going to be Loving You. 
And that was a song, I think Michael did it around 2003. Cool. L.A. Reed, it's always good to see you. It's a pleasure, Matt. And ex I like the beard, by the way. Thank you. Escape Thank you. is out today. Coming up on Trending, some